All right, guys. We're going to first start with talking about pitlesses today. And there is a vast difference for only a few dollars extra for a great pitless or a not so great pitless. These are the standard bearer of the industry, the old Campbell pitlesses that we don't use, we haven't used for 20 years. These are the pitlesses that we're using. And you can see that when the pitless bar comes down, it's tapered right here. When somebody is busy filling up the well with chlorine and chlorine water and everything, that can be flushed out from this hole, which doesn't exist on really any other pitless. And so then this has got a notch in it to where if you're five feet down in a hole, uh, you can see that this is upright. This is the way it's supposed to go. Now it will go either way. Okay, they have made this moron proof, but it's better to install it this way. And then another huge advantage of this pitless that this pitless doesn't have is, is well, Let's just not even talk about the, the size difference of the O-ring, the thickness of the O-ring, the sealing properties of the O-ring, but let's just start with that little V right here. This V is huge. That just lets you orient that, you know, if, you're, if your pitless bar is off to one side, it just slips right in. And that's just huge. And so we've loved these pitlesses forever. The other thing is, is there's less friction loss because this is tapered right in here. Okay, and, and then you can see if you put this on the correct way, it's fine, 100%, okay? If you are a moron and you put it on the wrong way, well, whatever, it, it still works. So anyway, there are two ways of installing pitlesses. The Justice way, that's the name of our company, and then the uh, Holiday way, all right? <laughs> I'll get to this. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, a pitless, this end of it goes to the well pump. And so the well pump pumps the water up and then it comes out through the casing. And then this is threaded so that a one inch pitless bar, usually in our part of the world at four and a half to five feet down, uh, these are set. Uh, this distance is four and a half to five feet down, okay? In our part of the world, you take the pitless bar and you lower it so let's just imagine that this just turned into a pitless bar, all right? So you lower the pitless bar down in, and then you come into the hole, and you're off to the races. Now the nut, the washer, the, the rubbers, and these rubbers are thicker. Oh my goodness, just every reason in the world to use these pitlesses. But anyway, and this is, this is the, the um, monitor 100BTLF pitless all right so anyway here we go and so this this screws on here and then and then there's two ways to actually orient the pitless so let's say that the trench goes this way okay most everybody takes and plugs in your fitting your poly fitting or whatever you're going to use and just goes straight that is the holiday way all right the justice way is, is to turn it uh, this direction. So we turn it this way, not this way. Why is that? We turn it this way so that when the ground, and this gets tight, and so when the ground is settling down, there's roughly about, I've, I've heard 1,200 pounds of pressure on the ground settling down onto the pipe. This will just tighten. And this is the justice way. The, the uh, holiday way, and you wonder why it's a holiday? Because if, if you or your competition is installing pitlesses uh, and the piping coming out of them like this, guaranteed, July 4th, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Christmas, this will be breaking off and, and the, the amount of weight that comes out on this just breaks off. Really, one more fitting, it's not hard. Uh, you really want to not do this the holiday way because these only break on holidays. <laughs> so the justice way is to uh, put this um, to where it'll uh, taper down. Now, these are stainless steel fittings that we buy from supplyhouse.com. Did you know 
that number one, you can buy these fittings in inch threads. And this is inch and a quarter poly pipe. This is inch poly pipe. Do you realize how valuable it is to have the square knob on the back of these to where you can take a crescent wrench or just an end wrench and be able to turn these around when you're tied up against the trench in the ground and everything. It's just huge. These are just great fittings. We've used these for many years. And the pricing is awesome from supplyhouse.com. If you buy more, you save more, and they just do that on their own. If we're gonna be going with some other fitting, like a PEX fitting or what, well then we always do this the justice way. We can screw a straight PEX fitting into here. We don't use PEX underground. We use only poly pipe. That's its own video at some point. So anyway, uh, there we go.